behind me is our 2020 Ram 3500 HD, and I'm gonna have my way with it. I'm Gail Banks. As you Ram fans know, these high output Cummins powered trucks are damn hard to find. We looked high, we looked low, and we found one in New York State. So we went to New York and got us a new Ram. Most people would complain about having to go all the way to New York City, all the way to the other side of the continent to get a new truck. Not us. We like to put at least 4,000 miles on a new truck to get the green off of it before we do anything. That way the engine's broken in, the power is stable, the torque is stable, the fuel economy is stable, and the emissions are stable. Then we know our baselines are rock solid. Now, I haven't told you, we actually put something on the truck that was Banks in New York State, and that's the pedal monster. I wanted to know in every driving condition every altitude, grades up, down, whatever. What did it do for the truck? Well, I gotta tell you something. In the Rockies, it did a hell of a lot for the truck. When we're testing a pedal monster, in every situation, mountains, desert, city, stop and go, you name it. We start with stock and then we go city, all the way through city, sport, all the way through sport, track all the way through track. But I gotta be honest, track is a bit crazy. Although I like it in my Cadillac Blackwing. One thing we found was up in the Rockies, it, this thing got a little janky. It was just a bit weird. It, it was shift happy. In my opinion, there's a bit more calibration work to be done on this combination at high altitudes. I think there was some left on the table. Either that or it needs a different turbocharger for high altitudes. Or it needs tuning, which I'll get to in a second. We have so much performance equipment planned for this truck, it's kind of mind bending. But before I tell you, let's take a walk around this thing. I think I'll save the engine and transmission for last. This thing is what's called a night edition, so it's got monochrome everywhere. And they did it perfectly. There is absolutely no chrome anywhere. I love the granite gray metallic. It's super cool. It's got a hard clear coat over it. So it should be durable. We've got a lot of stone bruises here on the Southern California freeways. Lots of gravel trucks running around. I don't know where they're taking all this stuff. They should use some of it to mix some concrete and fix the damn freeways. Sorry, <laughs> that's an anti-California ad right there. For years, I've been building my V8 house up in Yosemite. Right about this time of the year, in fact, last week, it started snowing up there. Don't think I won't put a snow plow on this thing. And even though it came with these kind of handsome blacked out 20 inch wheels, Something more badass needs to happen here. The same with the tires. And these slick looking mirrors extend like a transformer so you can see around your trailer. Let's have a look inside. Ah, nice. I love that step that looks like the rocker panel and down it comes. Looks a lot like amp research here. The inside, I've got, I, it's like the Dead Sea Scroll, all the stuff, all the options in this thing. If you guys have ever looked inside of a Bentley, that's kind of what's going on here. And the entertainment system has a new 12 inch display you guys have heard about. In fact, the only one bigger is a screen in a Tesla. And that's backed up with a 17 speaker Harman Kardon sound system. And the rear seats do front seat things. Enough for the interior, you guys care about the performance, so let's talk more about that part of the truck. Go away. It doesn't, it does. <laughs> All right, 373 screw in the rear end. There may be, if we get enough diameter going on, we may be 
doing a double-ended gear change on this thing. And in the back, when you drop the tailgate on all these new trucks, you don't get that crash boom like the old guys with the chains on them. These things are cushy all the way down. Smooth. So let's talk about the engine and transmission now. The normal Cummins in these 2020s is pretty stout. 370 horsepower, 850 pound-feet of torque. But the HO, ha, ah, that hits the numbers, especially on torque. It's 400 horsepower and 1,000 pound-feet of torque. That's some twist right there. And that's why I think the ASIN six-speed automatic works well here. This Cummins makes torque everywhere. The Ford, the Chevy, and the GMC all have 10 speeds now. But I think the Cummins, which is Torque City, allows the six speed to happen and perform as well as this thing does. Well, I like this. 35,100 pound tow capacity. And this is the one that gets me. I mean, this thing's a one ton truck, right? 3,500 is a one ton. The payload, 7,680 pound payload. That's like four tons. So is this a four ton truck or a one ton truck? Good God. You can tell I'm in love with this truck, but I've got some plans because Banks is the option the factory has never offered. So let me go down the Banks option package. I've already told you when we picked up the truck in New York, we immediately clipped in the Pedal Monster throttle booster system, which takes about 90 seconds. That's do it yourself. And currently available, we have the iDash Data Monster instrument package or the iDash Super Gauge instrument package. This is hundreds of readings, up to eight readings per screen and up to five custom screens. When you go to the Data Monster, to me, that's, that's the animal. Pop an SD card in the face of the gauge, and you can log up to 100 channels 20 times a second. So it's got monstrous data capacity, too. You can log 100 channels 20 times a second for weeks. So with a 16-gig card, we logged all the way from New York State to Los Angeles and didn't come close to filling up the memory on that thing. And also, design tested and now in production is the Ram Air diff cover for these 19 and 20, 2500s and 3500s. And also that same casting fits the late GM stuff 2020. And you'll see those diff covers for these and the GMs coming in the spring. Let's cover what's in R&D. You Ram Cummins guys, I hear you. I know you want tuning for these late model Cummins powered trucks. I hear you. The guys in the double E engineering group right through that door hear you. Everybody in these two engineering buildings hears you. We're working on it. And it's the main reason we bought this 2020 HO. As far as the cold air intake, our Ram airs are legendary. And <laughs> I want to tell you all about it, but I'm writing a patent on this, and my attorneys would kick my ass. So uh, I'll just tell you, it's revolutionary. And if all goes well, it's coming this spring. Also under the hood will be an intercooler upgrade, our monster boost tubes, and I'm also working on a brand new monster ram that passes emissions. We 3D printed one in aluminum, machined it, and ran it on a truck. You gotta go watch that episode of Engineering Unboxed. It's on Facebook and YouTube. And on the exhaust side, huh, I'm working on a video about the exhaust system as well. We've been doing five inch aluminized steel. Now we're into aluminized 409 stainless and we're coming out with straight up four, 304 stainless five inch, zero back pressure exhaust systems for these things. There's a lot of guys who say you can't increase horsepower with a DPF back exhaust system. I'm here to tell you they're wrong. 
And to back my statement, we're doing a dyno video showing him the horsepower gain. And let me show you the exhaust tip for that new system. We do them in chrome plated stainless steel or we do them in Cerakote high temp stainless steel. So what we do is we go full five inch into the tip, has about 19 square inches of inlet area. The outlet area, this is all brown shaped, is close to 40 square inches of outlet. So you have an expansion thing going on here. And check this out, Com just compare the looks, the size between those tips. Once this thing is tucked up right in here, it, it's a pretty, pretty hot look. This ram is gonna be one hell of a fun project, and I can't wait to start rolling out the products for you guys.